acting, music. Okay. How did that journey start for you? Um, <clears throat> had to do that away from the mic. <laughs> <laughs> I had to mix this shit later, you know? <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, so I was always introduced to the arts from a very early age because my mom is in performing arts. Yo, stop, stop, stop. Shout out to Keisha. He done talked about this black, everything you hear, stop touching the mic. <laughs> You're like, there's somebody going to be mad at her. Like, Yo, stop touching the mic. Every time you've said something is led back to my mom. I wanted to do sports because you never knew you was going to tell, tell your meniscus twice. But mom told me I needed to read a book. I need to think about education. You was going to go to that camp. Mom told me I needed to do MS Square, which more than likely led to your 14 college acceptances to some of the top schools in the world. We're going to get to that. Then again, mom, 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 shout out to Miss Keisha, Black Queen. I'm sorry I'm calling you Keisha. Do not hit me when you see me. <laughs> Miss Keisha, because you keep relating back to it. She did it by herself, alone. No. She had grandma. Shout yeah, out to grandma. Shout out but to grandma. You know what I mean by that. She yeah. was a single mom who did her thing. And not just you, even your sister. Very highly educated. NYU grad in her acting world. Y'all both highly successful. So I just wanted to take the moment, Black History Month, to shout out a black queen. I'm sorry to interrupt you, my brother. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> good, good. I was like, preach on, preacher. <laughs> I don't forgot what I was going to say. What was the question? Are you talking about... Getting into the arts. I know you was probably, yeah. Oh, your mom okay, yeah, you my mom, my mom got me into it early. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, she took me and my sister. We were real young. I think my sister was like uh, two, three. And I was like um, four years older than her. So I was about seven. Um, took us to audition for the, this acting agent place real, when we were young. And um, I was scared out of my mind. <laughs> I ended up. Like being stage fright, just sitting there, you know, yeah. uh, crickets. But um, we continuing on into my FDA years. Uh, my freshman year, she got me and my sister involved in this off Broadway production, Victims of the Zeitgeist. It was a, a play about Martin Luther King's life, um, and that's what really got me interested into acting professionally because that's my first professional set. Um, that was on stage, so. Um, that's what started me into acting and, you know, I was doing, uh, spoken word as well. So my, my oh, mom has always been a poetry. Guy. Yeah. I mean, like even at MS Squid, I yeah. remember I, I, again, like I get first year I was, I was shy. I was doing singing. I can't sing, but I was a part of the singing part of the culture sharing. Um, but as I, you know, started to develop and be more confident in myself, I started to write a lot. Um, I was always into writing and, and poetry. Um, and so that's what really got me into the music. And ever since then, I just kept pushing. Even in my UVA days, I was just doing acting and music. I was skipping my engineering classes and and, 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 <laughs> <laughs> and, and writing strips. Like, it's just something that I love to do. All right. Talk about talk about the guy Manchild, though. Like, let's okay. go from the beginning. All right. So Manchild was my 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 name. Uh, given to be with my football coach, uh, Coach Mac. Shout out to Coach Mac when I was three because I started playing football at three years old uh, with my boy Vaughn. Um, shout out to Vaughn the God. Yeah, shout out to Vaughn the God. But uh, I just kept that name. So man child, because, you know, back then I would always, uh, when we lost, if we lost, I was crying. I was I was like, nah, I, I was always competitive. I always wanted to win. And, you know, I would hurt little kids because I was bigger than everybody. So he's like, oh, that's man child. So I, I kept the name and when I did poetry, that was my stage name, it was Manchild. Acting, I keep my name Imani Bruno, but when I was doing poetry and later on music, right, when I first started out with music, Manchild was my name. Um, and that's where it came from for football. So, you know, the plan was always to do football, then go into acting, and it was just all intertwined. Football ended up not working out, but 